Well, currently we have a governor who is a strong advocate for this issue and we have an assembly that's passed the bill three times now. So we really feel that this is the year that the Senate needs to take a stand on the right side of equality and really have this happen in New York State. We have 26 uh, yes votes and we have five people that have gone from no votes to I don't know or I'm not sure yet or not willing to declare. So that would bring us if all five of those switched over to 31. And we're quite sure that if three of those are the Republicans that are saying they're not sure, if three of them come over, that there would be more to follow. Uh, seven years ago when we did the mergers here, it was 60% of, roughly, 60% opposed, 40% in favor. It's the exact opposite now. And yet still we have no action in the legislature. It's, from all reports of, of the, when this has come up over the past seven years, we've seen the most impassioned speeches. I mean, really the only time that, that in my memory that the legislature has acted like a legislature and debated the great issues of the day and, and hashed out the details and impassioned speeches rather than just, you know, Shelley, is it okay if I vote yes on this? Um, momentum's on our side, history's on our side, and, and I still believe, like I said seven years ago, that, you know, by the time uh, my kids have, uh, have kids, it's, it'll be as unthinkable to deny marriage equality as it would be for us to build a park with separate white and black drinking fountains.